So when something costs you something, it has more value. Cuando algo te cuesta algo, tiene más valor. Hi guys, welcome to Crossfire. Hola chicos, bienvenidos a Crossfire. I hope you guys are doing well. Espero que estén bien. Espero que el Señor los esté protegiendo. I pray that the Lord is protecting you and that you're staying connected y que se estén manteniendo conectados. Today we're going to keep talking about something that Jesus said. Hoy vamos a continuar hablando sobre algo que Jesús dijo. Because it's important to know what he said. Es importante saber lo que él dijo. To know what to do. Para saber qué hacer. So I've heard, I've heard people talking about the, the latest generation console. Estaba hablando, escuchando a gente hablar de las consolas de nueva generación. Um, either it's Sony or Microsoft. It's Sony or Microsoft. They each have a very high performance game console. Cam ambos tienen una consola de videojuegos bien alto rendimiento. And very expensive. Y super caro. Imagine you're a person that wants one of these things. Imagínate que tú eres una persona que quiere una de estas consolas. And imagine you can't come up with $400, $500 buy it. Imagínate que no puedes tener $400 o $500 dólares para comprar una. So let's imagine two scenarios. Vamos a imaginarnos dos escenarios. The first one, el primero, somebody gives it to you. Alguien te regala. The second one, segundo, you work for a month to save enough money to buy it on your own. Trabajas por un mes para guardar la suficiente cantidad de dinero para poder comprártela por tu propia cuenta. Now whether you believe me or not, me creas o no, the way you would treat that console if you if you worked for a month would be different than if you just got it for free. La forma que tratarías esa consola si trabajaste por un mes sería diferente que si lo hubieras te, te hubieran dado gratis. Because you spent time working. Porque pasaste tiempo trabajando. Because you invested energy and sacrifice, energía y sacrificio. Because you lost some things. Porque perdiste algunas cosas. This has value to you. Esto tiene valor para ti. Do you have that? Is there something you own or belong to that has a lot of value because you've put a lot of effort into it? Hay algo que tú tengas que tiene valor. No porque sea caro, sino porque le has metido mucho tiempo, mucho esfuerzo. Maybe it's like a yellow belt in karate. De repente es una cinta amarilla en karate. Maybe it's uh, a trophy for a good performance at a sports event. De repente es un trofeo por un buen rendimiento en un evento deportístico, deportivo. Eh, I don't know. It could be anything. Puede ser cualquier cosa. But do you have something that's valuable to you because of what you've done to get it? Hay algo que sea de valor para ti porque lo que tuviste que, por lo que tuviste que hacer para poder obtenerlo. Now. The Bible teaches us, la Biblia nos enseña, that salvation is a free gift. Que la salvación es un regalo gratuito. We do nothing to deserve it. Nosotros no hacemos nada para ganarlo. We can't do anything to deserve it. No podemos hacer nada para ganarlo. Because we can't, porque no podemos, God does it all. Dios lo hace todo. So that we don't boast. Nosotros no podemos bifiar, no podemos alardear. We did nothing to be saved. Nosotros no hicimos nada para ser salvos. It needs to be very clear. Eso tiene que estar sumamente claro. We are saved by faith in Jesus Christ. Somos salvos por fe en Jesucristo. And that's it. Y eso es todo. Now the next step, el próximo paso, is the idea of discipleship. Es la idea de discipulado. And I want you to discuss in your small groups what does it mean to be a disciple of Jesus Christ? Because it's at the heart of what we're going to talk about today. Me gustaría que en su grupo pequeño discutieran qué significa ser un discípulo de Jesucristo. Porque eso está en el corazón de lo que vamos a hablar hoy. Salvation is free. La salvación es gratis. Discipleship will cost you. El discipulado te va a costar. Let's read two passages of scripture where Jesus talks about this and he uses some very big words. Vamos a ir a dos pasajes de la Biblia donde Jesucristo habla de este tema y usa palabras bastante grandes. Let's read. Vamos a leer. So we're going to read from Luke 14, 27. And whoever does not carry their cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. Matthew 10, 38. Whoever does not take up their cross and follow me is not worthy of me. So it's two heavy ideas. Son dos ideas pesadas. Not worthy of Jesus, no, eh, no digno de Jesucristo, and not a disciple, y no un discípulo. That doesn't mean you're not saved. Eso, significa, eso no significa que no eres salvo. We are saved through faith in Christ. Somos salvos por fe en Jesucristo. Not through any works, no por ningún tipo de obras o trabajos. That is there. Eso está allá. Discipleship, discipulado. 
To be a disciple of Christ is a life of sacrifice and difficulty. Ser un discípulo de Jesucristo es una vida de sacrificio y de dificultad. Carrying a cross was a painful burden. El cargar una cruz es un peso doloroso. It's inconvenient. Es inconveniente. It's heavy. Es pesado. It eventually leads you to death. Eventualmente te lleva a la muerte. It's unavoidable, unhideable. No se puede esconder, no se puede evitar. So for you to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, para tú ser un discípulo de Jesucristo, you have to be ready to carry your cross and follow Jesus. Tienes que estar listo para cargar esa cruz y seguir a Jesucristo. Now what does that cross look like? ¿Cómo se ve esa cruz? In some cases, in some extreme cases, en algunos casos extremos, it's literally death and persecution. Es la muerte y la persecución. There are countries where you cannot be a follower of Jesus Christ, a disciple. Hay, un, hay países donde no se puede ser discípulo de Jesucristo. Where it would cost you your freedom, donde te costaría tu libertad, donde te costaría tu vida. It would cost you your life. That's the extreme. Ese es el extremo. But what about us? ¿Qué tal nosotros aquí? In our comfort, en nuestra comodidad. What would it cost you? ¿Qué te costaría a ti? Maybe to be a disciple of Jesus Christ means you need to change your friends. De repente ser discípulo de Jesucristo significa que tienes que cambiar de amigos. Maybe being a disciple of Jesus Christ means that you need to talk to your friends you do have about who Jesus is. Es hablar a tus amigos de quién es Jesucristo. Costing you their friendship. De repente te puede costar esa amistad por haberles hablado de Jesucristo. Because you talk to them about Jesus. Maybe being a disciple of Jesus Christ means that you don't go on that nice trip in summer, but instead go on a mission trip. De repente ser un discípulo de Jesucristo significa que no vas a ese viaje en el verano, pero te vas a un viaje misionero. Maybe being a disciple of Jesus Christ means that you don't have a relationship with someone because they're not a follower of Jesus and they're trying to pull you away from faith. De repente tener una relación con Jesucristo significa que no tienes una relación con tal persona porque estás sacando de la fe y te está alejando de la palabra. It's a very personal thing. A cross is a very personal thing. Una cruz es algo sumamente personal. It's a very intimate personal burden. Es un peso muy íntimo y muy personal. But what Jesus is telling is telling you and telling me clearly, lo que Jesús, lo Jesús me está diciendo a mí, te está diciendo a ti claramente, es que para ser un discípulo who deserves the cross, para ser un discípulo que se merece la cruz, que es digno de la cruz, who deserves the cross, you have to be inconvenienced. Tiene que haber un tipo de inconveniente para ti. You already have the free gift. Ya tienes el, 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 el regalo gratuito. Do you understand what you've been given? Entiende lo que se te ha dado. What are you willing to lose to... To be worthy of this. ¿Qué quieres, qué estás dispuesto a perder para ser digno de esto? To be a disciple of Jesus Christ. To be a follower of the one who gave everything for you. Ser un seguidor de aquel que dio todo por ti. What is it worth it to you? ¿Qué vale la pena para ti? Again, I want you guys to talk about this in small group in depth. Vamos a hablar poco porque quiero que hablen en profundidad en su grupo pequeño. But the idea is discipleship. Discipulado. When Jesus in Matthew 28 said, go and make disciples. Cuando Jesús... En Mateo 28 dijo, vayan a ser discípulos. Amen, that that's the thing, that's the whole point. Ese es el punto. Save people, yes, we need to save people so that they can be restored with God. Tenemos que salvar a personas para que estén restauradas en esa relación con Dios. But the next step, el próximo paso, of a person who understands what's been given to them. Una persona que entiende qué se le ha dado is to want to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Es querer ser un discípulo de Jesucristo. Do you want to be a disciple? ¿Quieres ser un discípulo? So what about you? What does your class cross look like? Take a moment to try to describe it. What is the what is the thing? Is it missing parties? Es perderte fiestas. Is it not going to a premiere? No ir a una premiere. What is your cross? I think the two big questions, las dos preguntas grandes son, do you want to be a disciple? ¿Quieres ser un discípulo? And what is your cross? ¿Y cuál es tu cruz? When you define those two, cuando defines estas dos, you're on your way to discipleship. Estamos camino al discipulado, which is what we should all want to be. Que es lo que todos debemos querer ser. So I'm going to pray, and we're going to, get to go to small groups. Vamos a orar y vamos a ir a grupos pequeños, and we're going to try to figure out those two things. Vamos a tratar de descifrar esas dos cosas. What is a disciple? Que es un discípulo. And what is your cross? Y cuál es tu cruz? And then it's up to you to carry it. Y, y finalmente depende de ti cargarla. Let's pray. Señor Padre todo poderoso, gracias por este día. Lord Father Almighty, thank you for this day. Thank you for your love. Gracias por tu amor. Thank you for the cross. Gracias por la cruz. God, I'm a broken man. Soy un hombre roto and I don't deserve your love. Y no me merezco tu amor, Padre. Thank you for giving it to me freely. Gracias por dármelo de forma gratuita. 
And I, I want to I wanna make my life something that you can be proud of. Quiero que mi vida sea algo de lo que tú estés orgulloso. Despite my sin, my brokenness. A pesar de mi pecado y lo roto que estoy. Father, I pray that we can talk about what discipleship means. Que podemos hablar de lo que significa un discipulado, ser un discípulo. And what it means to carry a cross. Y lo que significa cargar una cruz. Speak to us today, please. Por favor, háblanos en el día de hoy. We love you, Jesus. Te amamos, Jesús. Amén. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us again. Short and to the point. Corto y el punto. Thank you. Hasta luego. What's up, friends? Here's about you, It's me again. So you otra vez. This was part seven. Esta fue la parte siete de, of our series. Uh, what did Jesus say? De nuestra serie que dijo Jesús. Um, we're so blessed to keep to keep continuing the series and to be sharing this truth with you guys. Estamos tan bendecidos de poder continuar esta serie y um, compartir estas verdades con ustedes. Praying it blesses you and inspires change in your life. Estamos hablando de que sea de bendición y que inspire cambio en su vida. Um, and I just want to remind you guys of a couple things. Y quiero recordarles un par de cosas. Number one, we have small groups tomorrow. Number one, tenemos small groups mañana. Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Miércoles, 7.30 p.m. Um, we'd love to have you and any friends you want to invite. Nos encantaría tenerte a ti y a cualquier amigo o amiga que quieras invitar. So if you don't have a small group, entonces si no tienes a small group, send us a DM, mándanos un mensaje, and we'll hook you up with that. Y te linkearemos a un grupo. And, um, y... If you guys need anything, si necesitan cualquier cosa, just let us know, avísenos, we're here for you. Estamos acá para ustedes, we'd love to help you out in whatever we can. Nos encantaría poder ayudarlos en lo que podamos. Um, so don't be scared to do that, no, no tengan miedo de hacer eso. And that'd be it for this week. Eso sería todo para esta semana. We love you guys, we miss you guys, we can't wait to get back together. Los amamos, los extrañamos, no podemos esperar a estar juntos otra vez. But for now, pero por ahora, stay safe and stay connected. Que en ese salvo y que en ese